Ah, uh, alright guys, I've just logged in. This is episode 2 of the solo series. Welcome back. It is about to be 2020 in 3 minutes. It is currently 23.57 in the UK, and yeah, as I said, in three minutes, it's going to be uh, the new decade. Absolutely insane. Well, anyway, I'm going to enable my chat to see if there's anybody that's going to say Happy New Year to me because I'm playing Rust alone for New Year's. Oh, no way. Somebody raided that base down there. Okay, one minute. It's going to be fireworks going off outside my apartment block now. Yo, I just want to quickly have a look at this base to see if it's been raided. Uh, oh, it was a bunker base. Oh, look at this. So it has been raided, but I don't think they finished the raid. Yo, they haven't. We could quickly finish this right now. These are my closest neighbors. I've wanted to raid them for a while. Yo, let's do it. Let me grab some wood. Oh, it's 2020. All right, now we got that out of the way. Let's play some Rust. So yeah, let's finish this raid. I think somebody's tried to raid him, but they've not had enough to finish. So this was a bunker base. So I can just blow through here, lad. Oh yeah, WhatsApp message. I actually have real life friends. So yeah, I can just blow through this door. Let me farm some wood and then go back to base and craft loads of satchels. I've already got loads of gunpowder at base anyway. <laughs> One person said Happy New Year. Uh, shout out to Sakana. Happy New Year to you as well, mate. Got loads of gunpowder, crafting some bean cans. So I'm going to need 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So let's see, can we craft 20? Yes, we can. Just about. Okay, I got everything I need to get in this base. Let's go over there now and just do it. More satchels have been thrown. Quickly get us in, please. One of them, two of them, three. Okay, one more satchel and we're in. We're in. Oh no, there's more doors. One of the boxes is open. All the furnaces are there. Okay, I, this is a, like an iris base design. I know this base design. I've seen it before. Okay, well, I can come back with more satchels and finish this. I'm not sure what the loot will be like, but in my opinion, it's worth a shot. I see a base. Quick on it. Can I jump up? Oh my god. Oh, he killed me. Damn it. Oh, I wish I had a rifle. That guy had twig on his freaking base, man. I'll try going back there. Maybe just with a water pipe, though. Like, a water pipe might be all right. Camp him outside the door. Base has still got twig on it. He's gone to farm. He's farming over here. I'm going to wait for him to come back. I'm going to wait for him to enter this door. The door was unlocked. Got him! Oh my god. He's got a rifle as well. No sleeping back though. Let me lock the door. Grab TC. Lock is down. I got to heal up. Patch this base off. Clear authorization. Boom! The base is ours, man. Oh, yes, he's got loot. God, how many guns does he have? Get wrecked, mate. What's your name? Basu, whatever your name is, mate. He does have a sleeping bag. I need to get rid of that now. Give me the good stuff. Look at those juicy, juicy guns, mate. MP5, M39. Not bad. Right, he must have found this from a decayed base. Oh, well, there's my revolver that you took off me as well, mate. You know what? I'll be taking that back if you don't mind. Happy New Year, mate. Hope you uh, have a good one. Let's go, boys. See you in the next life. Adios, amigo. Freaking full inventory of free guns out of freaking nowhere, mate. <laughs> I'm going to deposit this. And then um, I originally left my base to go farm. I was heading... I look, I even put a marker down on the map. I was heading over there because it's sulfur heaven over there. And there's loads of sulfur nodes. But... Um, found this guy just randomly there with a twig base. The timing on that, man. Still got to get back to base alive though right guys sorry to stop the video right here but i've got a really cool sponsor today now i'm pretty sure that everyone that watches my videos has a wallet well rich reached out to me recently they sent me a few of their wallets and i've been using one of them now for over a week and it is actually really freaking sick this is the tiki wallet it fits all my cards in it it's got a cash strap at the back where it fits my cash i mean look at the size of it compared to my old wallet they've also sent me a backpack which has got a usb port so i can literally plug a power bank inside the bag and i'll be able to charge my phone while 
while walking around exploring Australia. These guys have got over 30,000 five star reviews. There's a lifetime warranty, so if you don't like it, you can return it. Go to the link down below. You'll get 10% off by using the code Jordan Rants at checkout. Links on the screen now and in the description down below. All right, thank you so much. Let's jump straight back into the video. Okay, having said that, it is guaranteed because we just made it back. Woo! Hell yeah. All right, that's really cool, mate. So many rifles. Oh, that water pipe play was clutch. Didn't kill him with the first one. Luckily, I took out two water pipes. Otherwise, I would have lost that fight. <laughs> to go so i'm taking five satchels with me i'm gonna get through the first door first and then if there's nothing behind that i'll bring the rest of the satchels to get through the other door there's two loot rooms we gotta get through okay which loot room shall we go through left or right i say we go through the the right let's do it we're in tc yes tc room nice Blowing through the TC now. Oh, come on, Satchel. What the hell? Come on. Okay, I put the door down. All right, we're safe. Right, what's inside the TC? Moment of truth. Yes. Now, no silver profit, but at least I got loads of metal frags and wood and stuff. I can use that to upgrade my base and make it uh, even cooler than it already is. And then in there, there's nothing. Okay, we've got to get through this final door then. So I'm going to go back to base now. I'm just going to wait a minute because there might be somebody camping. I'm going to wait for it to get to nighttime. We've still got to finish this. So let's just deposit the loot, get the rest of the satchels and bring them to get through the last door. All right, I'm back. There we have it. Four satchels. And I don't have to worry about freaking getting countered now because I put a door down. Oh, they've all exploded. Look at that. All right, this is this must be the main loot room. Let's have a look. Boom. Yes, there's your sulfur, mate. And all that charcoal. Lovely because I'm really low on charcoal at the moment. Okay, what's inside this box? Components. 422 scrap. Awesome. Ladder springs. Very happy with that. We made it back. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end today's video right here. Uh, drop a like if you've enjoyed today's video. I'm going to jump straight into... Oh, helicopter. Hello. How are you doing? Ah, that's the guy from one of the uh, from the island. So, guys, on the island, there's a massive clan. And I think that, that guy in the helicopter must be from the clan. Um, but anyway, as I said, going to end the video here. I'm going to jump straight into recording the episode 3 now. I'm pulling an all-nighter because I, uh, I'm going to Australia in less than 24 hours. I got a lot to do. I got a lot of, edit <laughs> I got a lot of editing to do and uh, a lot of recording to do as well. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. That should come out um, in a few days. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take it easy. See you in the next one.